Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn. Today, we will learn how to use Power Automate in Windows. Power Automate will help you to automate the mundane tasks like rolling out reports, emails, presentations, and many more. For that, let's consider a small problem statement, or in other words, a simple use case. So, here it goes. Let's assume that you are a business unit head working with the top brass of your organization. Your routine might include a lot of tasks like setting up roosters, scheduling scrum meetings, writing down emails, common data entries, and a lot more. These might not sound much of a task, but definitely consume sizable amount of your working hours. The time that you prefer to be more inclined to utilize for resource planning and setting up growth strategies for business development. If only there was a way to automate all these processes without having to hire another resource. Yes, that can be done with help of one of the most recent Microsoft Office tools called the Power Automate. With Power Automate, the time for all these tasks will be dropped by 50% and you have a lot of time for productive utilities to build better business strategies. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master data science and data analytics skills and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's quote of various data science and data analytics programs. Simply Learn offers various certification and postgraduate programs in collaboration with some of the world's leading universities like Caltech, Purdue, IIT Kanpur, and many more. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like advanced Excel. Python, machine learning, data visualization, generative AI, and over a dozen others. That's not all, you also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working on top tier data and product companies and also academics from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a data science or data analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job and profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a data science and data analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, let's get started. Now, the first question, what exactly is Power Automate? So Power Automate is a cloud-based service that automates repetitive tasks across apps and services. It's designated to help users optimize business processes and focus on more strategic tasks. Now, it is not just confined to Microsoft products. It can also be get attached to Google or any other applications as well. If you want to roll out some emails via Gmail, or if you download some files and store it onto Google Drive, Power Automate will always support it. Now, let's proceed to take an overview of how to use this Microsoft tool. So some of the mundane tasks like sending out an email, scheduling some roosters or meetings, or some points of the meeting, it'll always be a lengthy task that consumes a lot of your time. Now, for a sample task like sending out daily emails, we will try to automate this task. Now, we have logged into the Microsoft 365. So here, you can have some apps over here and you can check out the app for Power Automate. Now, we can just go to all apps and here you can just scroll down. And here you can see the option that says Power Automate. There are other ways as well. You can just, um, you know, search for the Power Automate app and find it out in apps here. Or now you can just find it here. You can just log into the Power Automate app. So Power Automate already has some uh, templates for it, right? So you can just navigate to templates. And there are many uses of uh, Automate. So if you want to do with some email attachments or if you want to trigger a Power BI data driven alert, or if you want to you know set up something in your microsoft office or you want to put a notification or if you want to download all the attachments from your email directly to your google drive and connect your you know x or twitter you can do that so there are multiple people who have already used microsoft power automate and they've already delivered some templates for the ready for use purposes and if you want to go with some topics you can also go with this or if you're working with remote work kind of style and you wanted some applications or some automation things you are looking for, 
you can also look at the templates which are remote work related you can just go through all these templates and you know go, go ahead with that apart from that if you're looking for some data collection type of automation you can also do that and if you're looking for an email automation you can also do that and if you already have created some flows you can just go through this and find the flows that you have worked on so i've got one flow already ready here i've set up an email uh, you know that you can be sending out to your uh, reportees or you can send out this email to your fellow developers or fellow uh, colleagues and if you have some approvals you can also do that so there are a lot of things so as we discussed before we will go with the automation of sending out daily reminders so i'll just type down get daily reminders and i get this type of automation here where you'll just send out an email reminder to the outlook.com email which will be which can be about an email to check the numbers check the reports and uh, hand it over to your fellow team members right so uh, or it's it may be about a scrum meeting or a roast meeting or a roast setup so i'll go with this one and here you have the recurrence and office 365 outlook so uh, this is my email and i'll just continue and here is the flow so here you can just click and you can give out an interval maybe if you want to give it every day or if you want to give it a weekly or bi-weekly you can set it up so i'm going to go with uh, every day and here you can set up any uh, prescribed uh, or if you have any uh, type of uh, time zone that you want to select you can go ahead with that so i'll go ahead with anything here i'll go with alaska maybe and you can also provide some time uh, it's not a mandatory one and apart from that here you have some hours you want to select maybe i'll go with 10 a.m in the morning and also i want another setup at 6 p.m which might be the logout time and uh, yeah this is the one and apart from that just go back to the flow once again and here you have to set up a few parameters so uh, let me give out an email here as well the recipient email you can add multiple but i'll, I'll go with one so I'll add one email recipient address here. That's the one. And apart from that, uh, subject could be about uh, Scrum call. With the report updates or with numbers, with number updates. You can give anything according to the business needs. And you have a reminder. And uh, I think I'll add the same subject here. There you go. And you can also provide the importance so i'll go with high importance one so that uh, the recipient will understand so far you have set up uh, the flow i think it's fine so you have no more uh, notifications here this says the flow is completely fine now you want me to save this flow and once the flow is saved you can proceed and test it just click on this it's saved and you can you, you if you want to try and test it you can also do it just test it and uh, it can happen in both the ways automatically or manually i'll now go with the manual one so that i can just cross verify if this is happening or not at the current time right we set a timing 10 a.m in the morning and 6 p.m in the evening right so it only happens twice but now if you want to run it at this particular instance you can also do that by just testing it right i've tested it and uh, i have sent out the uh, yeah it finds good and now if i select run flow then it will run the flow now it has already done no success it's successful no uh, problems here and done and you can now just uh, you know kind of log into your outmail outlook email and then check the email right just a second while i log into my inbox there you go now we have this particular email that we sent right now you have a reminder scrum call with uh, numbers of date and you can just reply or forward it so this is how you can just uh, automate the emails with your power automate and you can just send out email reminders to your fellow developers or teammates on a regular routine and that's how you automate a lot of simple things as your daily tasks and i've already created two here and if you go to templates you have a lot of other templates here most of picked or if you're looking for a dedicated one like data collection email calendar mobile etc you've also found them there and if you're still in confusion maybe you can just type down and find the templates which are in match with your requirements so that brings us to the end of this session on automation using power automate in microsoft if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session 
then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to assist you as soon as possible. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.